Hey everyone, Brittany Carmichael here, bringing you Woo Woo Wednesday, your live weekly tarot reading. And today is the first Woo Woo Wednesday of 2019. So happy new year. And one of the questions I've been asking everyone in my circle, in my Shine Tribe, the coaching clients, I had actually so many tarot readings yesterday to kick off the first of the year. So I wanna know, before we dive into this, where, in what area of your life are you seeking more clarity? Is it in yourself, your relationships, your creativity, your purpose, your job? Where are you seeking more clarity? I would love to know what your focus is for 2019. I've been asking everyone what their word is, what their intention is, because it's not about setting goals. Goals just feel gross to me right now, honestly. And it's more about setting intention. How do you want to show up in the present moment? Not what will we do once we get to the future goal? Because once we get to the end of the goal, it's like, okay, on to the next one. So really, this year should be about setting an intention to enjoy the entire journey. And presence and focus and intention is what will keep you in this moment. So myself, myself, you know, I posted something on Instagram the other day that said, I'm sorry, 2019 is all about me. And I think that that is true for so many of you. How many, let me know, like raise the hands for hearts, say that's me. Like, let me know if that's you, where you feel like, okay, I really have got to put myself first this year. And you guys know, I, I preach that all day long, especially in my online course, Shine School, where I teach you to create self-care rituals and better boundaries for your self-love so that when you give to yourself, you can show up and give better to others. I just bought this huge rose quartz to bring uh, love and peace in my soul. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, okay, say hello if you're tuning in. Where are you watching from and what is your intention for New Year? Hi, happy 2019. Ah, she's at work. She'll catch the replay. Thanks for popping on. My job and my relationship, that's me. Oh my gosh. So. I feel like this year, I drew one card on the first of the year yesterday. Can you guys believe it? It's like, we're already moving forward in 2019. Yesterday, I drew a card as a collective card for everyone for the entire year. Like, what is 2019 going to represent for us? Like, what do we need to focus on? And the card that I pulled was the Eight of Cups. And what that means is that you're no longer interested in going after the material and the society. You're more about going inward on a journey of self-discovery and kind of leaving behind society and really going down a spiritual path. So what area is calling you to explore in your life? Are you needing to work on forgiveness? I saw a lot of people posted that. Are you needing to work on self-care? Are you needing to work on better communication and boundaries? What are you going to be working on in 2019 as far as your spiritual journey goes? How are you going to start um, practicing more connection with your soul? Will you be taking on a yoga practice or a meditation practice? How are you going to show up for your soul in 2019? Yay, Hilters in Iceland. How fun. <laughs> hey there, I'm from Dallas. Intention is simplify and live in abundance. Well, Megan, I am in Frisco, so we're not that far. I'll actually be hosting um, our first goddess gathering of 2019 um, on the full moon. I think it's the 20th of January, and I'm looking at some yoga studios, actually. I think bringing my goddess gatherings into yoga studios really will create the sacred space that um, our circles need. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Um, 2019 is going to be my year. I love that. Julia says, my intention is love, forgiveness, health and wellness, and romantic relationships. I love that. Self-care, I'm going to be selfish, lol. I honestly don't think that self-care is selfish. I think it's a necessary thing. And you guys know my mom's story when she had her stroke and she finally recovered, not fully recovered, but when she could finally speak again after a few months, I asked her, why did you do this to yourself? And she said, because everybody needed something from me. And that's when I realized that self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary or we'll stroke out. We'll lose all of our energy. We won't put ourselves first. And we try to give and give and give and, and we're giving from an empty cup. So self-care is us recharging and refueling that cup so that we can keep being that um, abundant giver and nurturer that we all are. Uh, okay, let's see. Salem, Oregon. How fun. I love that. Um, Chris and I went and looked at houses in Salem, Oregon one 
time. It was awesome. Okay, I'm going to draw from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. I've been using this in my readings this week for all my clients, and uh, it's been awesome. The messages have been kind of similar, actually, and it's really about letting go of your worry and your doubt. It's about stop procrastinating by trying to get more certifications or get more skills, like just start the passion now. Like start, if you wanna be a life coach, go be a life coach. If you wanna be a writer, go write a book. Like you don't need another certification. <laughs> How many of you guys understand what I'm talking about, right? Okay, I'm gonna shuffle with the intention that we received the message that we need to focus on for all of 2019, not even just this week, because I feel like we're at such a brand new, beautiful chapter that we should gain a little bit of clarity on where we're going for the year. And like I said, when I drew the collective card for 2019 for everyone, it was about turning inward and going on a spiritual journey. All right, there is one card. I love when they pop up like that. Um, okay, let's see, what else? And if you have any thoughts or questions uh, that pop up for you during this reading, feel free to leave them in the comments. Pay attention to your visions, your feelings, the internal dialogue that you have with yourself as I'm reading these cards so that you can apply them in your life. All right, let me shuffle that again. Oh, I'm excited for 2019. I wanna know what, where are you traveling to? Where are you traveling to and what is the thing you're most excited about when 2019's over you can say, I, I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Ooh, there we go. Okay, three cards came up for the year and a couple of celebrations that I wanna share with you guys. Yesterday, Chris and I were officially filed uh, our trademark was officially filed for the Elevated Life. So now we are the official owners of that beautiful phrase. So, and uh, the Elevated Life Monthly Membership Club actually celebrated its one uh, year birthday yesterday. So it was so special to celebrate the one year anniversary of the Elevated Life Membership Club uh, and get the trademark. So very, very, very exciting. I want to know what was your biggest celebration for 2018? I'm continuing to write my book and focus more on acting and being more vulnerable starting tomorrow. <laughs> Not today, but we're going to start tomorrow. You sound like a dieter. <laughs> I'll just start tomorrow after that cupcake. I love that. Um, traveling out west again and hopefully to Jamaica. Ooh, the place I'm looking at for 2019, like the big place I'm really interested in going uh, this year is Switzerland. So hopefully we will, not hopefully, I mean, you just make it, you just go or you don't. I, I guess the hopeful is hopefully I can decide when I want to go because, you know, su summer or winter, like whatever you want to experience. Okay, I'm moving to San Diego in one week. So exciting. Uh, so excited to travel all over Cali this year. The thing I'm most excited to learn and practice Reiki daily. I love that. And you know what? Chris and I are actually going to take a trip to Malibu next month. And then in the summer, we're planning to do a two-week road trip through California. I want to see Tahoe. I want to see Big Sur. I want to go to the um, Eslin or Islin Institute that's out there. I want to go to Yosemite. So there's a lot of places in California that I'd love to check out. Okay, let's jump into this reading. Ooh, hold on. I'm going to check your comments. Happy anniversary and birthday. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm starting today. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let's dive in. And if you know a soul sister who would love this message, go ahead and tag them or share this on your page. Let's get started. The first card that comes up is the 10 of Raphael. This is in the suit of cups in your traditional tarot. And it says love and blessings fill your life. How many of you said, I want to focus on love this year? It seems like so many of you are saying that. It says harmonious relationships with family members and happily ever after. This card is a card of emotional fulfillment at the end of a cycle. So it's showing that everything in your life is leading up to these positive relationships. First, you got to heal your close circle, right? Your family. Make sure that all of your relationships with them are on point, right? That there's no um, forgiveness work that needs to be done. There's no anger or animosity. It's important for you to clear and heal all of that inner circle and it seems like with the 10 of Raphael showing up that you guys are having a pretty good family life maybe that's the focus for you you're um, you know focusing on being more present as a parent or you're focusing on being more present as a partner how do you guys 
how do you guys feel when the 10 of Raphael comes up and it says love and blessings fill your life? Does it scare you? What's your immediate response? Are you like, oh, yes, finally. <laughs> or are you thinking that'll never happen for me? Because here's the thing. When we're drawing new experiences and partners into our life, we have to allow ourselves to be open. And if there's any kind of emotional block that says, oh, I don't, I'm not ready for that or that'll never happen for me, then you're going to prove yourself right. <laughs> um, this card says happily ever after. So it is a, a promise that your family life, your close partnerships, and even your romantic relationships are looking promising for 2019. So if you've been single or if you and you're ready to mingle, <laughs> then this will be the year for you to expose your heart, take down the damn walls, and let people in. Because if you put the walls up, then not only are you blocking love going out, but you're also blocking the love coming in. And then you sit around pouting about why you don't feel loved and supported. It's because you've got a freaking wall the China wall around your heart right <laughs> I was gonna say something about the Trump wall but we just won't go there <laughs> okay let's keep going um, the second card man I've seen so many of these cards this week this is crazy um, the set let me just tune into your comments seeing the light a little more I love it love I will always remember that one saying I took from your video to be love takes practice thanks for who you are and what you share oh thank you so much it really does take courage, patience, and a lot of practice to show up as love in every single moment because it's easy for our ego to get in the way and get knocked down by stupid comments and rude people. But we have to remember that that's the reality that they're living in and they go home with them. So we get to go home to ourselves and to our peace and our heart so we can let the crazy go, right? But it takes practice. It takes practice. It probably helped that I've been a hairdresser for 11 years this month um, because I've been able to handle, ha you know, the way that women talk about themselves. The way because when you're dealing with the way people look, man, it's a, it's a sensitive topic. So I think that's really prepared me to be able to put up with any of the crazy that comes from anyone else. All right, let's talk about this. Um, the page of Michael. This says truthful, perspective, no, perceptive, analytical, and blunt. An exciting new challenge, you have what it takes to succeed and review contracts and documents very thoroughly. This card definitely came up in a reading yesterday because I was making it very clear that if you're about to sign a contract, um, whether it, no matter what kind it is, right now is a really important time for you to pay attention to what that means in the future. What are you signing away right now? Are you in, is anyone in a current legal settlement right now, whether it's a divorce or child, um, I don't know, what it, I don't have a kid, I don't know, like custody, there we go. <laughs> How many of you are actually like going through some kind of contract or legal settlement? Settlement. This is saying to just take extra time and extra caution to read through and make sure you know what you're signing yourself to, you know, don't sign your soul to the devil. <laughs> not my circus, not my monkeys. Exactly my philosophy. Um, this also says that an exciting new challenge is going to pop up. This is going to be a mental challenge because it's in the suit of swords or Michael in this deck. This is saying that you're going to have some kind of mental challenge. It's going to be your own personal block that stops you from, um, well, it doesn't stop you from doing anything. It just allows you to start looking at the situation from a higher perspective. And it's going to require some truthful honesty to yourself saying, okay, this may be challenging in my life, but I'm excited about it. And I know that I can make it through there. So what's been your biggest challenge so far, right? What has been your biggest challenge lately? What have you been um, trying to work through lately? Because this is a, a sign that, yes, it may be a struggle sometimes, but you have what it takes to make it through this challenge. Um, <laughs> me, <laughs> I'm looking... Uh, Okay, that's like the worst comment. <laughs> this is so, this is exactly what we're talking about. When you have like trolls come on and just say ridiculous stuff, like you just keep rolling. Okay, what else do we have? You're so lovely, beautiful in and out. And then we have someone asking for boobs and vagina. <laughs> like, what is the world? Come on, we've got to bring more light and love into this place. All right, let's go. The Knight of Ariel. This is saying patience, plant your seeds because they will reward you. Um, and you might get off to a little bit of a challenging start with this new adventure or project, but this says there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan and being watched over by someone kind. This card also says trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. So when you're going towards 
you know, working on the projects that you have planned for 2019, whether they be about you or something that you create in your business um, or relationships that you're cultivating, just know that you, oh gosh, you have the ability to create the life that you want but you have to decide what that is. And this is saying, there's a lot to do. You have big dreams. You've got a lot of uh, seeds that you've got to plant this year. But with this spread, it's showing me that when you put in the hard work, it, even when it's challenging, you keep continuing and you stay devoted and you stay uplifted towards your journey. Because remember, it's not the end of the destination that provides the excitement and the fulfillment. It's the experience the entire way there because I can tell you what every goal I've accomplished I look around and say that was awesome now what how many of you guys know what I'm talking about um okay let's see what else make a very detailed plan okay that's really important at the beginning of the year is and it's funny because I pulled out my calendar and I started to write down all my goals and my dreams and the steps I need to take to get there and I put the pin down and I was like you know what I just want to live in the moment this year but there were some things that I had to schedule, like when I do my new and full moon blogs and readings. I can't skip those. Those, are, those happen on set dates. And so I had to go through and, and make sure a week before I'm making sure that I'm committed to writing that blog. So there are some things that you do need to make a detailed plan for. But for some reason, I'm really feeling this year is about living in the moment. I mean, it's, that's life. You should be living in the moment all the time. But this year, more and more people are going to awaken to this present moment and to realize that their worry is just keeping them living in the future or their fear is keeping them in the past. So it's important for you to know where you're going, but be flexible in the way that you get there. Um, this card also says being watched over by someone kind. So when I see this card, I always think of a past loved one, uh, the like the first the first one on your spirit team, uh, whether it be a grandparent or even a parent. Um, I feel like if this is with this card coming up, I also want to point out that you're never alone, that you may feel alone, even if you're in a crowded room, but you are never alone because you and your soul are in this together. I know that seems crazy. You feel like there's only one of you, but I don't know. Maybe you feel like there's two of you because you kind of go back and forth, ego intuition, ego intuition, right? So with this card coming up, it's saying that you have support, that you are supported not only in your physical world, but from the other side. So your angels, your guides are there waiting for you to ask for help. So if you've got big dreams, which it says there's so much to accomplish, then I want you to try something different this year and just ask for divine help. Even if you think it's crazy, because I thought it was crazy, but I bought the book, Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. And I started just asking my runner guides to save me a parking spot. Or I asked my guides to bring me a, a, a client or a this or a that or whatever it is I needed. I just tried it and I just put it out there. And I will be damned, it works. So this is what I'm saying. Whether it seems weird or not to you, if you know you need help, why not just ask? Why not put it out there? Because your angels are ready and waiting for your command. <laughs> I'm going to grab a drink. Let's finish this up with any questions, comments, or ahas that you've had during this reading or anything that you'd like clarity or guidance on moving forward in 2019. I'd love to help you out. You guys know I have an awesome 90-day coaching program that I think I'll be opening up soon. I'm working on my Oracle Guidebook as my first project for this year, but I just love working with my coaching clients as well as my Tarot clients, so I'll be opening that up. So if you're looking for someone to help guide you and hold you accountable, first I would say book a Tarot reading. That'll be our introduction session. It always turns into a soul, business, life coaching session through the cards, and then we take it deeper in my 90 day deep dive. So I'm super excited to be bringing that back up. I had so many amazing coaching clients last year that just, they were teaching me and I was, I mean, it was just such an amazing uh, experience and connection with these women because so many of you have these big dreams, but your fear stops you and you start to procrastinate or fiddle faddle with this stuff that's not important or you try to go get this next certification or you just start making up stuff that stops you from really stepping forward into what you want to be doing. And that's why you need someone like me to just tell you the truth. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, happy first Woo Woo Wednesday. Yes, I've actually been told that my grandmother, your great grandmother is one of my angels. Oh my gosh. Well, I would love to talk a little bit more about that because I feel like great, my great grandmother 
uh, and your your grandmother. There's something magical to, to this woman. I never got to meet her, but I know some really incredible manifesting stories that grandmother has told me about her. And they say that you come from a line. I mean, a magical line breeds a magical line. And so I feel like knowing that my mom and my grandmother are very magical, I can only imagine that my great grandmother was as well, especially with the stories that I've heard. So I'd love to know more. Um, and maybe we can connect on that. All right, what other questions, thoughts, ideas that you have? Let me know. I'll help you to find some clarity in 2019. Hey, Elizabeth, Happy New Year. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to know, what would you like to see more from me in 2019? I can tell you this. My goal is to do more shorter YouTube videos. I love coming on live, but I want to do some videos that are teaching on specific topics that range from eating a vegan, clean lifestyle to even vegan beauty products because you guys know I've owned a hair salon for 11 years this month. Um, Woohoo! Happy New Year to both you and your sweetheart and all in the group. Oh, amazing. Hi, Lisa. Happy New Year. Rachel says, how do you get clear on like the top three things you should focus on and what are your distractions or wasting and what are just distractions or wasting your time and energy? I'd like to create a vision board and goals, but I don't completely know what I want. Okay, I just posted in Shine Tribe a link to my blog about how to create a vision board. So if anyone's interested in setting that up at the beginning of the year, then you can follow that outline. Um, how do you get clear on your top three things you could focus on? Well, I like to think about the top three things that I need to do for the day. You can do it for the month first and say, okay, this month, by the end of the month, what is it that I want to achieve or what is it that I want to get done? Let's say, one, let's just pick one of them. Let's say one of them is working out, right? So we know that that's the top priority. Well, on each day, I then will break it down to three major things for the day. Well, what do I need to do? That might be prepping food, that might be going to the grocery store, and you start making a list on how, what steps will t what do I need to take to get me to that desired outcome, right? Um, and then what are just distractions? Distractions are things that if you do them and at the end of completing them, they don't move you forward towards your goal, then that was a distraction, aka, you know, well, I was gonna say, like, sometimes people will just be like, I need to go to the grocery store, oh, you know, but maybe that's part of the plan if you're looking to clean up your eating, right? Um, so the distractions are the things that don't get you closer to the goal. If it, if you can delegate it, delegate it. If it's just unnecessary, just cross it off the list. Um, okay, I was also told my great grandmother is my spirit guide as well. I never met her though. She passed when my mom was born. Wow, that's crazy. Well, you know, as um, you know, embryos, we are created in our mother's womb while they're being created in their mother's womb. So, I mean, we really do have such a strong connection to the women that we come from. Um, and also, if you are named after your any loved one and they pass on, they automatically become part of your spirit team. Um, would love to. Didn't get to meet her either. She died the year I was born. Oh. Wow, we should have love to hear more stories that you know. I'll share the stories that I know. I think that would be such a cool conversation. Hey, Brandy, thanks for joining. Okay, any other questions for me? This has been such an awesome reading for the beginning of 2019. I wish you all major success and peace and harmony. Because honestly, what's success if you're not happy and you're not calm? <laughs> if you were stressed out trying to get there, was it really worth the work? I'd love to know what you, oh, hold on. Rachel says, would love videos on your clothing tips and your thoughts of seeing numbers like 1111. Oh, I would, you know, I always thought I was gonna go to New York and be a fashion designer and then I realized I don't wanna go to college and I don't wanna follow all those rules and I don't, that's not in alignment for me and so I just bought a bunch of clothes and I just enjoy them now. Um, when you see numbers like 1111, it is a reminder to keep your thoughts positive as number one is the number of manifesting. Um, if you look at it as a one from top to bottom, it's uh, like a magic wand pulling down universal energy to earth energy. So when you see 1111, keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts are creating your reality. And angel numbers pop up like that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 11, 4, 4, 4, 7, 7, 7. You start to see these repeating angel numbers. This is a great 
uh, blog topic, by the way, you start to see these repeating angel numbers when you're starting to awake and your angels are trying to communicate with you because numbers are a universal language. So angels can use numbers to get your attention. I remember many, many years ago when I was starting to go through this awakening process, I kept seeing these numbers everywhere. And I finally told Chris, Chris, I see 1124 on the clock every single day, almost two times a day since I was 15 years old. And I finally told a friend that, and he said, oh my God, I see 416 on the clock every single day. It's my birthday. I'm like, well, I don't even know what 1124 means because it's not my birthday. And so I, I, since I wasn't the only one experiencing these numbers, I started looking it up and I realized that you can go to sacredscribes.com or dot something. Sacred Scribes is where I would go and look up the meanings of all of these numbers because each number has a meaning. So I looked up the meaning of 1124 and I think I cried like a baby. It was like, you're here to, you know, inspire and light up the world and all the things. I'm like, oh my God, like, that's what I feel like I'm supposed to do. And guys, this was like six, five or six years ago. So now I look back and go, oh my God, like that's really what's happening. So if you're seeing repeating number signs that your, your angel's trying to get your attention, I would see them on license plates, on billboards. I, just the other day I saw 7777 on a, a license plate and actually that's my salon address so these numbers are just a, another language for the beings on the other side to communicate <laughs> and a video on how to care for sphinx kitties oh my gosh that would be such a crazy video uh <laughs> I could definitely do a video on that, but we'll have to make sure Noodles is in a good mood that day. That's your first step. If you own a Sphinx cat, know that you have no control over those things. They are crazy AF. Um, oh my God, my daughter's name is from my grandmother, her great-grandmother. Okay, great-grandmothers are coming up major right now. How many of you guys feel that right now? Peace to you and your spirit. Oh, thank you so much. Um, what else? I would love a few of your book favorite book recommendations. Yes, Ashley. Actually, I have a blog um, on the website right now that are my top favorite books. So if you want to check that out, please go. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the link, so please go check it out on the blog. Uh, mind blown, Rachel says. Yes, I mean, I could talk about all this stuff all day long. There's so many categories in which I love to talk about when it comes to woo-woo, but I don't know what I know that you don't know that you want to know if you know what I'm saying. So please be sure to reach out. Let me know some topics you're curious about because I'm happy to cover them. It's been my pleasure and um, joy to dive deep into the metaphysical world over the last five or six years, uh, you know, consciously, <laughs> curiously conscious. Um, and I have discovered so much that has completely changed my mind, my mind and set me back into the place of my heart and soul where I know truth and that's the place I'm always trying to inspire and educate you guys to get back to and empower you so that you get out of the headspace and move back into the heart space where we belong. All right, I was talking about a uh, grandmother this morning to my daughter. She was full of questions. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this grandma vibe right now. All right, sisters, I'm going to hop off of here. As always, I love you so much. Thank you for all of the support. Here we are in 2019, another year accomplished, one more, a new year to embrace. And I can't wait to see all the magic that you guys create this year. Remember, this is the year to turn inward, to stop trying to push so hard and to, to, to achieve and, and goals, you know, <laughs> like you can set a goal, but make sure that it's an intention not just a goal, right? Because we can lose 15 pounds without the intention of being healthy and we achieve our goal, but we're still miserable because we gain it back the next month because it wasn't an intention. It wasn't, this is going to be my life moving forward. Stop making these short goals, <laughs> just set life goals, right? Like opt to shift your life to what feels like in alignment to you versus just, oh, I'm gonna do this for a month and then I'm gonna go back to my shitty ways. Let's stop doing that, it's not working. You gotta really break the cycle by making these lifestyle changes. Um, why does fear or sabotaging come up when getting ready for change? Well, because your, your ego, your brain is like, wait, everything that I knew was safe and it's like this, like this is how it works, here's the plan. And when you start to change the plan, the brain who is analytical and wants a detailed timeline, which isn't necessarily even a thing. Humans invented clocks and the time, right? <laughs> and on an energetic and spiritual level, there is no barrier of space and time. So it's only our brain freaking out 
and going, but this is what I was comfortable with. This is what I was used to. And if you ever feel that fear coming up when change is coming, mm, just dive right into it because the change on the other side is so much better than the fear, you know, holding you back. Okay, guys, thank you so much for all these questions. I love it. Remember, if there's a topic you'd like me to cover on YouTube, my videos uh, and the blog, then let me know. Shoot me a private message or just leave it in the comments below. And if you would like a private reading with moi, you can always go to brittanycarmichael.com slash tarot where we can team up for a one-hour private tarot reading. And I will kick your butt to find your truth so that you can confidently and courageously step into who you are meant to be in 2019. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, if you know someone who would love this message, tag them below, share the video, and I will see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series. Bye.